So today I wanted to go through um, a couple sketchbooks that I've been using recently um, within the past probably year and a half. Um, I went through a period of time where I was working mostly in watercolor and then now I've kind of gone back to drawing. So um, I kind of wanted to start with some of my like earlier ones that I've been that I've had and um, and these ones, um, these black ones are Stillman and Burn. So these are great. They, um, this is the Beta Series one. They have different papers. They have different ones with different kinds of papers. Um, and I totally love them. They are perfect for watercolor. They have smooth ones. They have ones with thick paper. They have ones with thin paper. They have ones with smooth paper. They have ones with rough paper. Um, they have all different ones, and for a period of time, so these are dated from, let's see, I have a date here, I think, 10-20-2012. So this was probably around a year and a half ago um, that I was working in this one. Um, I've kind of swatched, started swatching all of my watercolors. Um, I love uh, Daniel Smith watercolors and also Winsor Newton, so um, this was kind of what I had at the time. and. In a different video, I'll go through those because they're just, you know, they have beautiful pigmentation um, and they're great for sketchbooking and journaling. Um, you know, I've kind of always been interested in kind of florals and faces. Um, and these are kind of drawings I do in my free time. They don't really have anything um, to do with anything else. I think that's when I turned 23. Um, and there was a while where I was doing a lot of this typography with the, um, kind of the resist, the rubber cement resist, and then painting over it. Um, I've kind of stopped doing those. I kind of, kind of want to get back into them. Um, but just quotes that I kind of love, um, and things like that. Practicing a little bit of the calligraphy. Um, different lettering. And so that's it. And this one I need to kind of fill the rest of it up. But um, I don't remember where I got this Minnesota sticker, but I really liked it. I also have one that's um, glittered, silver glittered. And it's super cute. And I'm a super big washi tape fan. So there's that one. So this one is also a Stillman and Burn beta series, but this one is a um, spine cover. I like having a spine as opposed to a... Um, coil just because I'm left-handed and when you're left-handed it tends to get in the way. So this one um, was started 10-27-2012. Um, it's not all the way filled but mostly. But this was just more just playing around with watercolors. Um, having different textures I can scan into the computer to play around with digitally. Um, doing some skin tone studies with uh, quinacridone watercolors. Um, just trying out different things. I mean, it's all about exploration for me in my sketchbooks and, you know, having parts that I can scan in digitally and play around with. Well, this is probably one of my favorite spreads. I mean, obviously I love florals and I love, um, drawing flowers, so... <laughs> <laughs> different things. That's the last one in there. Um, and then this one I think is also a Stillman and Burn, but this is the Alpha series, so this paper is a lot uh, thinner. Um, and this one started 12, 21, 12. Some lettering. It's kind of hard to see on this one because I do when there is a coil, I do like it to be on the shortest side just because then I can have it at the top when I'm kind of working. some stupid sketches. I love drawing ice creams. <laughs> I 
some of these I feel like I need to scan in and make patterns out of. I love this texture, it's so beautiful. I do love watercolors. I love the transparency of them. I love um, painting, just in general. It's beautiful. <laughs> Robots. This paper is still pretty thick. It's just thinner than the other notebooks. Um, just because those, I think, are made more for watercolor. This, this hold, it holds it pretty well. It just get, the paper just gets a little bit crinkly. I was working on some Valentine's Day things here. I think that's it in this one. So, another older one. I love these ones. These are these kind of Indian handmade kind of books. So, um, there was a lot of time where I was working in these. Um, you know, kind of just working through some more floral things. I kind of want to go back to painting. I've, you know, kind of stopped for, for a while lately. I've just been mostly drawing and doing digital work, and um, this was kind of my escape from that. Um, there's something about painting that, you know, you can't replicate in the computer. Um, also just, the, you know, the finishes. This is pretty um, sparkly looking paint. <laughs> I love this paper, just the way that the, the edges are, you know, deckled. It's very thick and textured. Some water color, color studies, color wheels. <laughs> Definitely a florals person. <laughs> I should make this one into a pattern. I love these pink trees. They kind of look like cotton candy to me. <laughs> it's more tight. some carbon pencil that I put some water on kind of makes cool effects some feathers <laughs> a lot of these I've never seen the light of day Probably for good reason, <laughs> but, uh, you know. Kind of more of my personal journals that don't, you know, that kind of inspire other things. I love this one. Pretty sure I used uh, some fountain pen inks for this, and that's how it's so bright. Oh, 
And that's it for this one. I, I always tend to leave the last few pages blank. I kind of get to a point in the book where I, you know, kind of get sick of it. <laughs> Um, this is another watercolor one. This is one by Handbook. Um, I'm not too keen on the um, paper in this one, but I kind of bought it with the intention of, you know, scanning whatever drawings that I do. This was some watercolor um, ground. Daniel Smith makes a um, black watercolor ground. They also make a white and a buff, and I was just playing with some gouache on top of here. Same with these ones. This was more ink and more watercolor. It was a total mess up page. <laughs> Same with this. I kind of, I don't really worry if I make mistakes. I kind of just go on and um, definitely makes my, you know, my books less than perfect, but I don't really care very much. I still love this one as well. Damn, this one I actually made to the end. <laughs> and so those are more older ones. These are ones I've been keeping more recently. Um, just because of ease of carrying, you know, they fit in my purse at work. I love this size, um, eight and a half by five and a half. Um, and I found these notebooks um, at a art supply store in St. Paul, and I just really love them. And um, they're kind of they've kind of got a more textured paper. Um, but that's kind of what I like about them. Um, this one was first, so, you know, I always kind of like to put my name on it so people know whose is mine. <laughs> and then, um, you know, they actually have, they work very well with markers, so I tend to use a combination of, like, Tombow markers and other brush pens, um, in them. You know, mostly just doodle books, really. I wish, you know, they're less about sketching and more about just, you know, getting things out and um, having ideas for other drawings I want to do eventually. Um, sometimes I kind of scan, a lot of times I kind of scan from these and, you know, make other things in Photoshop and Illustrator. and um, but They're easy to carry around and easy to kind of just work wherever and, uh, not so big and you know people don't really bother you when you have a little notebook <laughs> whereas when you have a huge notebook you tend to get more more people coming over wondering what you're doing you know so here's that one and here's this one this one I think I'm still working in this one yep kind of towards the end um, I actually made this one, I scanned it and made it into a pattern. I'm kind of playing more with my pens. Um, I tend not to really worry about how each page looks, because I don't normally show these to a lot of people. I kind of just use them for my own, you know, things. <laughs> my own little ideas. Some donuts, I made this into a pattern. I kind of brought it into Photoshop and colored it. Yeah, but I'm still working through this one. Drawing forever. That's me, always drawing. And then this is a bigger 8.5 by 11 um, version of, of these books, and I just really love these. Um, I've, I've only ever bought them in stores. I've never bought them online, so I don't quite know where I can get them, but um, 
but there's the name if you would like to look them up. So more marker work. Um, you know, see, the Copics kind of bleed through, but I don't really care. I kind of just go to the next page. Uh, and then this is some watercolor work in them. So they're a little bit um, bubbly, but I don't really mind too much. And then, you know, I'm kind of one of those people that I kind of just sit in front of the television and I kind of work. Um, this was kind of a whole day's worth of work. I think we were watching uh, House of Cards. Um, we were binge watching it and watching the whole thing at once. So this is how I not feel so guilty about that as I draw. <laughs> So these are more things that I scanned in and uh, made into patterns. Some portraits. Some more. Things. I just like really like the texture of this paper because like this is a kind of more of a dried out brush pen that I used here um, to make those. And same here. Some sushi. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll draw, you know, just in black and white, and I'll scan it into the computer, and then after I've scanned it in and know that I have that, then I'll color it in in my notebook. But then I mostly color, you know, on the computer. There's some barbecue <laughs> items. As you can see, I like to write my name a lot. But, you know, this is when I got all my Tombos, so I'm kind of working through that. So yeah, so that's it on this one. So yeah, so these are my sketchbooks. I love them. I love each and every one of them. I keep them all. Um, I have a lot more from over the years. Um, I've been keeping sketchbooks since before I was in high school and um, throughout high school, throughout college. Um, and a lot of times I go back and look through them and, you know, they inspire new ideas and, you know, I, I always keep multiple books at one time, too, um, just because you never know what kind of book you're going to need, you know, whether you need a small book, a large book, a watercolor book. Um, so that way, you know, I can always carry one with me. I always make sure I have some sort of tote bag to carry, you know. I've always, <laughs> always got all my pens, you know, my pencil case, whatever, and my books, and um, I find that it's a good exercise, you know, to carry a sketchbook. It's uh, not necessarily, you know, you know, you don't necessarily have to have all your drawings in a book. I mean, for instance, you know, I have a bunch of drawings that are just on straight paper, but, um, but at the end of the day, you know, they're harder to carry with me, but I kind of just shove them inside of a file folder and put that in my bag. Um, but I like having it all in a book. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, check out some of my other things. I have a lot of uh, pen reviews and other drawings. So yeah, and have a great day.